from Pink Gear and today I've been requested uh, from Hawkeye uh, to do this video uh, for, for St Barnabas Beaver Scouts. I'm going to be giving lots of information of all of my tarantulas so let's go on. There is also a hidden uh, question and answer in this video for Rocky Mountain Spider Freaks and my question is what is my favourite tarantula? So first we have uh, the sheep which is the tarantula anatomy. In this video, you're going to be uh, you're going to be learning all um, all the information that you need to know about tarantulas and um, put it on this sheet. So let's get on to okay. it. Okay, first I'm going to uh, introduce to you my hairiest tarantula, Curly Tots. Here she is. As you can see, she has eight legs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four plus four equals eight. It might look like she has legs at the front right here, but they're not legs, they're actually pedipalps. What they're used to do is rather um, capture food or uh, hold food. Let's get her out and so she, you can see her a little bit more. So first, what we need to do um, for a tarantula, um, if you have a tarantula hobby, you need to rather touch any of her legs and you need to, t this is called testing her temperament. So you touch one of her back legs and then see she's very calm, this girl. Um, if she's, if uh, one of your tarantula, if you have a tarantula, if it stands up on, it, on its back legs, that means it's threat posturing. So uh, you don't want to mess with that guy. What she might also do is uh, flick her, uh, flick hairs off her abdomen right there. Come on girl. Curly hairs have web coming out of the um, bum or abdomen. Um, if you look at these two things on her bum, those are called spinnerets. Those are what make web. And if you look in her enclosure, there's this uh, white thing on the substrate. That is a web bed, where, rather where she can sleep or where she can molt. Molting is basically when tarantulas go upside down and push all the skin off because their skeleton is on the outside of their body. Um, they push the skin off and um, it's very hard for them. That's where we just leave them when it happens. And then after, after a few weeks, um, you can see how they are and feed them if you want. And maybe give them a bit of water because they'll be tired after like pushing all the skin off. Now, right, now let's talk about the abdomen. And the reason why I'm putting my hand under my other hand is because if she fell from about this height, um, her abdomen on the inside would burst inside, uh, which you won't want. You don't want that to happen. When I'm handling her, I'm always careful and like sat near the ground because uh, I don't want that to happen to them. As you can see, you can see those tiny dots on her head, right there. Don't want to get too close to stress it out, right there. And those are eyes. She has eight eyes, although she can't see very well. What she does to see is she, uh, let's say we put some food in her enclosure, so we dropped it, then she'll feed the, feel the vibrations. She can uh, feel them with all the hairs on the body, or yeah. She also has two big fangs, and um, maybe we'll get a mole out later so we can put it up and show you. Uh, she uses her fangs to inject venom into her prey. The venom um, paralyzes the prey and uh, it makes it all liquidy inside because um, you don't want the crunchy parts, do you? And then she sucks it up with a straw like thing right here uh, underneath. This is a New World Her Defenses. Uh, uh, to flick hairs which is just like what she does is she taps her back foot onto her uh, abdomen and then it just flicks the hair. The last thing that you uh, new worlds would do is bite. Um, as long as you don't stress them out you just be calm like this and don't like move around like that. Um, uh, she'll be calm as long as we're calm. There's also old worlds which have stronger venom and um, they're really quick, very defensive, so that's why we don't really handle, handle the old world. I have an OBT in that uh, enclosure which has a lock in it. That's how bad they are. Uh, look at all those hairs. If you can see, I'm touching hairs. All they feel like is like a velvet, and especially the bum, it feels like um, very velvety. Okay, now she's back in enclosure. We don't want to stress her out anymore. 
just like uh, moving around and all that that can stress them out and um, i hope you guys uh, got a lot of information about tarantulas my answer is for what is my favorite tarantula um it is harriet my mexican uh, red me let me show you okay here is harriet my mexican red me um aka my first ever tarantula so I'm gonna uh, uh, point out the key facts on her. Uh, this is uh, she's basically a juvenile. So let's show you what she, uh, what she has. So she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight legs. You can see the pedipalps clear on her right here. And, and now you can see basically the eyes a bit clear, a bit not clear on her. They're just right there. And then the um, spinnerets at the abdomen. They're, they're the spinnerets, the little two things on the abdomen. She is my favourite tarantula uh, because I just love the red on her, basically orange. I don't know why she's called a Mexican red me, but she's orange. Oh, I forgot to mention this, but they have yeah. little, little hooks on the feet. If you look. Well, the, um, the, they can grip, that's what they use for. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. there's those spinnerets. That's my favourite one to get her back in. Come on, Harriet. Now she won't see me for the rest of the day. She doesn't like going out. That's why she's built a burrow. So she's blocked off where the thingy is. Now she can go down there and then it goes through there to here. Or she can just uh, go like that. She's done all that with the ped pedipalps, um, and also they can carry things and uh, hold things. Um, I hope that information helped you to do that sheet and learn about tarantulas. Um, and yeah, um, thanks for listening to St. Barnabas uh, Beaver Scouts. Bye!